Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about an issue that plagues not just the FJ Cruiser, but most cars in general, especially cars that ride a little bit higher, and that is seat wear on the driver's side. All right, so just to give you a look at my FJ Cruiser seat, it's not all that bad, but you can see that it's starting to show some signs of wear, especially right here, and then down here. So whenever most people get out of their cars, they generally just lean over, they just kind of squish this pad here and they squish this over here and it creates a lot of wear and tear on the seat. So again, as I mentioned, this is not just an FJ Cruiser issue, but an issue on most cars in general. So the FJ Cruiser has one thing going for it that I haven't seen in a lot of other cars that will definitely help in preventing the seat wear and that is the front grab handle here on the driver's side. I can't imagine how difficult it might be for an FJ Cruiser with a lift and no running boards or no rock rails or Predator steps to stand on because whenever you get out of the vehicle, you're basically, you're leaning your thigh into this little cushion here and then squishing that cushion down here. And then of course, you know, leaning your shoulder into this cushion over here. So luckily for me, I have running boards that help me get in and out of the truck. What I like to do is that I like to uh, put my foot on the running board and then grab the grab handle, pull myself up off of the seat, and then that of course uh, relieves any pressure on the seat back. Now just as another example, this is my 2010 RAV4, which is not as tall as the FJ Cruiser, but still showing some signs of the seat wear here. In the same exact spots of course you have the same uh, little wear there and then on the side here it's got the same thing so most cars have the same wear in the same spaces um, it's just that the RAV4 doesn't necessarily have a grab handle so I do find myself um, you know leaning into this cushion more um, and also this is also a vehicle that we drive more often than the FJ, so we're constantly going in and out of this car more so than the other one. So um, your seat wear may be a little bit more uh, severe or less severe depending on you know, your habits, but just keep in mind that this is a common problem in most, if not all, vehicles. And uh, it definitely helps to have a grab handle like the FJ Cruiser does. So over time, this is just something that most of us don't realize is happening to our seats until it's way too late. So I just wanted to put that out there as sort of a PSA to basically use that grab handle whenever you get in and out of the car because the repetition of rubbing against those cushions over time is definitely going to wear it out. And you see this not only in the FJ Cruiser, but in most cars in general. If you take a look at any used car, the driver's seat, you'll see wear and tear on these specific sections. Some of the more worn ones will have holes in them and tears. And so I just want to keep my FJ in the best condition as possible. And uh, you know, you should do the same too as well. So uh, don't forget to use your grab handles. If that's something that you know you just sort of do subconsciously, then maybe the next time you enter and exit your vehicle, you'll be a little bit more conscious. So with that being said, this is probably gonna be my last video of 2021. Um, it's been a pretty cool year. This was the first year that my channel hit a thousand subscribers in March. And then uh, hopefully before the end of the year, I'll be able to hit 2,000. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed this year. And I'm hoping to keep the ball rolling into the next year and keep these videos coming for everybody to watch. So uh, with that being said, I hope everybody has a happy holiday and a wonderful new year. Uh, thank you everybody for the support. And I will catch you in the next year. Have a good one, everybody.